right? That's all thread embroidery. Look at how beautiful. It's like how they would embroider your gown. Hello, SSS. Anything that we've discovered that would match the Kabali pillow? I don't think so. Is, what is a pillow? The ones that she got from you. No, I know. Pillows or throws. What does she want to match? I think you want more pillows, right? Or do you want to throw? Is this the throws? Those are. Oh my god, look at this one. Which? I show her this. Uh-huh. This isn't really a throw though, is it? No. That's not a throw, that's a shawl, but it's fabulous. You want more pillows. I think we're gonna have to circle back on that, right? Probably. Because you have the same pillows. Yeah, I know, more stuff is gonna be coming. We did add some things, some shams. Guys, look at this. This is new. That is. Look at that. What is this, shearling? Like the scone no, or something? No, rabbit. Oh, this mm. is like a huge... But it's not like that crappy rabbit. Rabbit shawl. Hi, Puff. How are you? Look at how pretty that is. Hello, Stephanie. I'm vibing her. That's from Neiman's first song. Oh, okay. When there was a first song, like the vault, you mean? Mm -hmm. Wow. Guys, feel free to ask questions about anything you see in the cart. These items will be shoppable during the 50-50. They will disappear um, at the end of the show. So you want to make sure that you're scooping up the items that you love. Things do move quickly when we're at such a steep discount during this special show with $100 at this price point. It's pretty wild. New York to Florida, we'll have to keep you posted um, on more pillows. But I have a feeling... I have a feeling we're going to find the right one. Oh, it will definitely. happen. Hello, SSS. Welcome in. Guys, feel free, like I mentioned. Uh, yeah, no rush. We get to hang. Do you know what I mean? We get to hang. Feel free to ask me questions. Let me know what you're curious about. There is additional jewelries um, that are going to be shoppable. Hello, Keisha. And you have all this incredible home. Like, we don't get enough home on the app. Um, Show the bangles. Oh, yeah. Guys, so let's talk about this. This is, if you've been shopping with us since we started working with Robert here on the app, you know his collection of batar was outrageous. This is it. And now they've all been individually priced at $50. Um, every single batar bangle is $50. And then these Ted Rossi, we're doing these as sets. We're doing these as sets. So you'll see how they're loaded into the cart. Um, this is a set at $50. And these are Python. Look at that. That's like a proper Python scam. Keisha, how are you? Like, what a crazy deal, right? Um, you sent me a DM? Okay. I'll check it out. Hi, laid back. $50. $50. Um... There it is. Um, I am, you know, I'm always storytelling, right? Hold on, I'm looking for you guys. Bracelets. I want to show you these things that got trapped in my mind when I was a little boy. Millicent Rogers. Do you guys know? I should just talk instead of type, right? Millicent Rogers bracelets. So, <clears throat> Millicent Rogers used to wear this armful of bracelets. Then now these are very specific because these are all Navajo bracelets. She was like, that's how she wore them. But I just always loved that idea of stacking really like an armful of beautiful bracelets. Coco Chanel did it with the Verdura bracelets that you've seen with the Maltese cross. All of these incredibly stylish women, Carrie Donovan, the former 
now long gone editor of Vogue magazine, Diana Vreeland, they all wore armfuls of these incarnate, extraordinary, extraordinarily stylish women always wore arms full of bangles. And so it was natural. I was always in love with the, the idea of just sort of like covering your arms, wearing really simple clothing and then covering your arms with beautiful jewelry. So <clears throat> I used it a lot in my styling. It was one of my sort of signatures in styling was always using arms of bangles. So that said, if you've been with us a few times, you've known, you know that we've sold you many of them uh, as I had collected, you know, hundreds of them. And I'm glad that you guys have them and are wearing them and looking cute walking around town. But there are still some left. So, so definitely indulge yourself in a couple of more because, like I said, it's all about that stack. It's about like that beautiful arm filled with bracelets. I'm going to see if I'm going to show you. Um, I don't know if anybody knows who Carrie Donovan is anymore. Lou, do you know who she is? No. Oh my God. Carrie, this girl. Oh yeah. That's, that's Carrie Donovan. Um, and she also, you know, <clears throat> look at the, these are the big bracelets. You, you, she was actually one of the first sort of insiders to be in uh, an old Navy commercial. Anyway, she also did it. So that's, one of the women who, when I was growing up, when I was just a little gay, now I'm so gay, when I was just a little, whoa, when I was just a little gay, a younger gay, um, I was always kind of taken by these outrageously incarnate, extraordinary, sort of dramatic and glamorous and effusive women. Like I'm assuming a lot of you are, so. Anywho. Whatever, whatever he said. I'll have what she's having. Um, oh, random. So when me and my crew were out in storage, and you know, there's like the design wars are starting to happen. We're starting to pull things. There's beautiful sterling silver frames. So look at this. These are all brand new. These are Italian. This isn't made in China. This, these are all made in Italy. Beautiful sterling frames. This is a sterling and wood one. Here's a solid, not solid sterling, but it's sterling to blue velvet. Hammered. Really beautiful pattern, like almost like a basket weave in sterling silver. So these are absolutely beautiful. So I'll tell you where this obsession came from. So all the frames... So when I moved to New York, a few years after I moved here, I moved here when I was 24. And by the time I was 30, I was working in television and interviewing fashion uh, designers. And so one of my earlier interviews, I interviewed Carolina Herrera. And when I walked into her, her office, she had in the corner a round table that was skirted, which many people did in the 1980s, if you can remember. I mean, this was not the 80s. It was, it's really classic. But in the 80s, I remember seeing it in design magazines. So a skirted table, like, you know, kind of a boring round table. Huh? Oh, Cantalirica! Ciao! And Mandy. Hi! Hey, everybody. Um, Hi, Canta. So we're talking, Canta, we're talking about frames. So I'm, I'm telling this story about how when I first started working in television, one of the first people I interviewed, I was interviewing designers in New York. And I interviewed Carolina Herrera. And when I walked into her office, she had a round table with like a skirted cloth on it, covered with sterling silver frames in black and white photos of her life. Her husband, her daughter, just like her with Oscar de la Renta, you know, just gorgeous black and white photos, all in sterling frames that cataloged her life in the most beautiful way and was also just like jumping points for conversation. And, in, and it was so inspiring. So I, of course, have, you know, a dresser covered with sterling silver frames, but I also overbuy things. No secret to my girls. Um, so there's loads of sterling frames and they're really beautiful. I'm going to kind of set, set them up. I want you guys to see a vignette, a little vignette. I want you to see what it looks like 
when you have an assortment of... As there's always an assortment to be had. Look at her doing her thing. Can we also see some fire emojis for this look? Rick Runway, Robert Verdi. Rick Runway? Rick Runway, oh, Robert yeah. Verdi. Like, so here, I'm going to... Can I? Yeah. Hi, Gina Bina. Hi, Gina Bina. Okay. So here, I'm going to show you guys. So this is like, Carolina had like a round table. It's actually weird because it's sort of like, this is kind of like a skirted table. I just covered it because people were putting drinks on it and not using coasters. Um, but it's kind of like, you get what I'm saying. This is like on a bookcase. Somewhere in your house, ignore the mess behind it. That like beautiful little story of, you know, your mother's wedding photo, picture of a grandchild or a child, an autographed picture of me, you know, something chic. Um, yes, exactly. So they're going to be, they're super well priced. These are $95 and these are $50. So 95 95 50 so for $250, you you know, first of all, you can put this on an end table in the living room so people could see it. You could, of course, put it on your dresser. Of course, you could do what I just said, which is uh, the Carolina Herrera thing that inspired me. They're just really beautiful. So we love that. There's also, <clears throat> we, we've sold a lot of these, and I want to show you guys these. The Claudia Labau earrings. This was from Claudia's first collection. Claudia is based in San Antonio, Texas. She's from Brazil, and she had the women um, in back home in Brazil who crochet doilies experiment and started crocheting with metal wire, and she created these beautiful... I mean, this should be... Like, this is so beautiful. Hold on, let me put it up. I mean, first of all, they're very lightweight. But the idea that somebody took their skill and was able to manipulate this material that we're used to seeing with thread, I mean, they're just absolutely beautiful. It's like a work of art. And then this is another favorite of mine, Anna Sophia Tarbe, who does another artistic, wonderful uh, style where she kind of weaves these baskets onto these frames and then puts stones on them so this is garnet and amethyst this is um just gold and silver wire like a nest really beautiful and then this is um labradorite moonstone in pearl that's her tag that's anna's tag they're really beautiful then I just want to show you guys this because I don't know how well it shows. There are beads and there are beads. These are very, very collectible and usually very expensive, but we made them very affordable here tonight. These are from the 1950s. They're made with Murano glass beads from Italy. And um, these were very popular at the time. While I, I'm going to tangle it so you can get annoyed with me. When you buy it, it'll come in a bump. In a, Give me a second to untangle that. Hold on, please. Um, I need two hands. I couldn't do it holding the phone. So, um, oh, and by the way, just for the record, we still have one left. This is, I think, is this the last one? Last one. Lou found it because I like had tucked it away. We had a couple of them when we sold them. And then I do this weird, like crazy squirrel thing where I like, I'm like, and I hide it somewhere. But then Lou found it and said, I think we should sell this. Um, whatever, Lou. Always trying to get rid of my stuff. But uh, it's the Ted Rossi snakeskin in leather. It's leather snakeskin, so it's printed um, gold and black because that's not natural python color, but it's beautiful. And then it's got these giant Swarovski glass uh, cut beads. They're just a fantastic cuff. So... If that is something that tickles you, grab it tonight. I don't know if we put it up. We can put it up. Did we put it up? It's up. It's up. How much is it? $99. $99. I mean, we've sold them for several hundred in the past. So Lou just makes this up as he goes along. 
Um, let me know if you guys have any questions. Oh, here's something else. I'm still, I didn't finish on tangling that. It's a choker, but it's a great, if you need to get somebody a gift, I'm gonna show it to you on the bust because I think that's the way it looks the best. It's a horseshoe from Alexis Bittar. Um, we have two of them. One of them is in this blue. Oh, the pink one sold, okay. So, pink one sold. I'm gonna show it to you anyway, so you know what you missed. That's the pink one, Same. it's the same necklace, but it's just pink. And then we also have these, uh, a little Alexis Bittar, carved, beautiful, signed. You can see all the handwork. And then it's got, he did this brilliant little fine, hi SSS, this little um, detail of semi-precious beads. They're just these wonderful little organic, but modern, sculptural, but raw, really sweet. Uh, we also have, I think this is our last one, the last Coach Hardware bracelet. These are the melamine. This is the white melamine with the gold toggle. It doesn't, I mean, the gold twist lock. It doesn't actually twist. It's just a nod to their design history. So they used the elements and made these really beautiful, again, shocking, right? It's another bangle. Did Siri just talk? Sometimes yeah. I say words that are not. Siri, I wasn't speaking to you. She's the worst. Um, hold on. I'm going to, <clears throat> okay. So this is the vintage 1950s um, Murano glass. I mean, it's stunning. It's just a really beautiful piece. It's like an artsy fartsy kind of thing, but it's really fun to wear <clears throat> if you're traveling in the summer. You know, I have this whole thing about travel jewelry because incidentally, one of our favorites, one of our BFFs here on the app, New York to Florida, just had an incident where she was traveling and lost four significant pieces of jewelry. And it's really upsetting. And you want to wear your good jewelry when you travel, but you're always at risk of something horrible happening. So it's a good habit to get into having less of your fine jewelry with you when you travel and start bringing your costume and fun personality jewelry. Then you don't feel so bad if you lose it. Although I've lost it all and I've always felt bad. I feel like there's something else we can, oh, yeah. What else can we show you guys? There's so much stuff. This is so cute too. Oh, I can't believe this is Will you put so it on? Yeah, guys, let me show you. I'm gonna show you, Lou. look at Lou. How great is this? So it's calfskin. It's really brilliant. Knocked out on the, the hole is knocked out and then it's got this blanket stitch on two sides. It's just a really cool, easy to wear. Of course, it looks chic as chic as I can't say the word. It's so cool. And I like that this side is mostly the dark and this side is mostly white. Yeah. So you could do like a white look. It's very interesting. Yeah, it's a cool bag. I know Lou's looking at it thinking he wants it. I can tell. I can tell. I, don't know. I can tell when he wants something by the way he says it. it. Guys, by the way, I pressed to get this for 99 for you guys. Yeah, we were like, this these, is going to be the first thing to sell. These items will be unshoppable at the end of the show. And this is a really good one. I will put this up there with, like, the Poochie items from tonight. I mean, it's so cool. She's steely. Yeah. She's steely. Can I see, what are the girls saying? Contelera goes so, so, oh, I know. It's terrible. She lost, uh, Luba lost some jewelry. And so, um, that's the worst. And her I, mom gave it to her. Such a bad feeling. <laughs> Hi. Sorry, guys. Um, I want to show you guys something. It's sitting on my desk. I'm going to show you guys a couple of cheap and cheerfuls that we have on the desk. They're like totally random. Can I put them on you? Yeah. I'm going to put them on Uncle Lou. Hi, Anki. So I want to show you guys first. It's got a copper glass hand cast um, stud moon glass and then it's pyrite that is uh electroplated it's really chic so there we go that's that's the whole vibe so all of these that i'm showing you that one's 50 bucks and then these next three why don't we do them at 20 20 bucks 
So I'm going to show you, I'm going to just show you them with layers. These are all African beads, uh, these ones that I'm showing you now. So it's African beads, Swarovski on leather, really cool closure. It's actually closed. You just, you just slide it on. Hi, Libra. And then I'm going to show you this one. This is actually super cool. It's this mesh. The beads are inside of it. Can you see that? And then it has this gorgeous giant Swarovski like dog dongle from it. Um, That's screaming my name. Which one? Actually, Tanta, which one? The whole layering thing is so good. It's fun, right? Yeah. And so we have two of this last one I just showed you. We can do those for twenty dollars each. The last three. Twenty dollars. Twenty dollars. Like the jingle jangle. How interesting, right? Hi, Mandy. Hi, Shy Lou. Welcome in. I know this one is really pretty with this like fancy moonstone situation. Hi, Liz K. It's like glowing from the inside. Liz K, how are you? Welcome. Hello, laid back. Guys, feel free to let me know what you're seeing in the cart, what you have questions about. We are at Robert Verdi's 5050. I can't believe this didn't go. Guys. Which thing? Really? $99? $99? This is all hair on calf. Um, and look at how like they've done all the grommeting and stitch. It's beautiful. I'm gonna use a little boys room real quick. Okay. Hi, Shy Lou. Oh, Welcome. Yeah. Guys, feel free, like I mentioned, to ask questions. We can add things. I know Robert was showing you the frames. They're not all necessarily uploaded quite yet. The monogamy and silver ones seemed to be popular. Um what? Oh. Um also, the towels. Who, who is, why are we not getting the towels? Oh, laid back to Zodiac Star. Stunning. I also have like this. We, I don't know where that little Liberty scarf went. It's so, hi, Shy Lou. How are you? Welcome. Um, I can show you, tour you. You know what I also like really... Guys, these, like if you're decorating right now, this is, um, oh my God, Jonathan Adler. Jonathan Adler, these are actually, hi Sunseeker, these are actually samples, so they weren't produced. You'll see they have JA, like initials, which is like not common. Okay, let me see. 74. I just like, those are, they're not even in the car. I just, I love them. Mandy, I'm going to grab 74. Um, I just want to point out that the pillows, the shams that you guys are seeing are actually just the sham itself. So you wanna keep that in mind when you're shopping tonight. I don't know where he has those. Mandy, Robert just stepped out for one second. Um, so hold on, let me just make sure, let me 76 and 77. Um, I'm not sure where some of these linens and things are. Which things? So you had these two table toppers. Oh, they're beautiful. Does somebody want them? Yeah. Well, they want to see. And then the, the pillows, the yellow and the black. Can we actually see, do you have all three of those shams? The pink, yellow, black, oh, and the green? Yeah, all three. So I have to pick that. Hi, Deville. Oh my God. Did we put in the, you know what we should put in? What? <gasps> Uh, I'm, uh, does anybody have a beach house? I know I ask that all the time. Oh, she, so she loves a beach house. Well, I've done so many of them. What are the size of the tablecloth? He's going to have to pull them out, Mandy. We're going to have to do a little... Hold on, Mandy. We're going to have to do a little thing. Mandy, it says there's, there are table toppers, and there's a photo of me holding them, so you can see the size. Scroll through the photos. Oh, if you go a little further, you, you should be able to see it. Uh, but let him get them out. Hold on. And we can measure them for you. There was a new, there was a new, 
you know, delivery of things that came recently. So this is all fresh. You guys get to see it first. You know how we do things. Hi, Joy Lee. Also, guys, the star necklaces with the spinel. There's two left in life. Virtually sold out. There are two left. Um, there are two, two. There's just the two left. There's also one of these left for anyone that is still interested. One Chanel cuff. The rest sold out. It comes brand new in the box with a dust bag. It's a beautiful Gosh, gift. Coach. Oh. coach. Whoops. <laughs> Um, the boxes Robert didn't showed you. The bangles are like a slam dunk, especially uh, this one's sold. But I do love this. You know what's not sold? This. This is really good too, guys. I don't think this one is sold. This is the only Poochie item Here are these. that is the leather. This isn't the right one. You said the great the these. Oh, maybe no. This is the right one. Mandy, here she is. Wait, Mandy, these are beautiful. Because for, <gasps> for Mandy, look how gorgeous. Mandy, I don't know what size your table is, but I think it's large, but I want to show you what I got. Look. Wow, that's so pretty. This is from the same company that I think... I have to turn. do it this way. Can, can I turn this? Would you want me to go... I want to turn it. Hold that. Oh, Mandy, I'm going to show you. Hold that for me. Because you have to get the detail of it. So it's it's from Jacquard Francais. Hi, Joy. This one is 69 inches by 69 inches. It's brand new. It's out of the package, but it's brand new. It's um, This is the color combination you're looking at here. So it's light blue, a little sort of like white, off-white, like a linen white. And then this, of course kind of periwinkle blue and, and gray. It's really beautiful. Hold on, there's another one over this here. This one's not in. These are not in, no. And then there's this one, hold that, which goes with, Mandy, goes with those pillows if it's, that lose holding, you see? This one is also 69 inches square. It's brand new, out of package, but still has the, uh, it's from Jacquard Francais. It's called The Joker. It's 69 inches square. It is French, 100% cotton, and has a beautiful, beautiful motif around the border. So I don't know if these, the, aren't in, these are not in. Where are the ones um, from the card? We are looking. Okay. Hold on, guys. We're looking for the hold that. While I do that, I'm going to find them. We're going to get them for you. Hold on. I'm going to, it's going to hold this up for you too. This is the pillow that you requested. I just want to call out that these don't come with the filler. So it's the sham itself. Okay. They are brand new and beautiful. You have such great taste in linen. Um, hi, Charlene. Welcome. 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 Hi, Joy Lee. We're gonna find those, Mandy. Just hang tight for one second. Let me just pull here, this Mandy. Up. These are also Mandy. What are the colors Mandy is looking for? Here they are. Okay. Mandy, are you still here? Um, I'm gonna show you. Here's the table topper. I'm gonna show it to you folded. It's beaded. It's gray silk shantong. These, you can lay this on top of a full tablecloth as a decorative piece. So, it's a hand beaded, beautiful tablecloth. We put these, they're table toppers for $95. The mitered corner, all beautiful silks. They're really wonderful, fully lined backs. And they're, some, they're petite, so you can use them. Like you, The way to use this is if you have a large table, you put this on a diagonal, so it's like it creates a diamond shape in the center, and it becomes your centerpiece. The flower's in the center. It's like what color is that? It's like a silver, right? It's like, um, like, a, yeah, like a silver gray, like a dove gray, like that, what you see there. And then there's an ivory one. It's a little larger.
the ivory one, that's the beading on it. It's a tiny bit larger. But again, if you put this on this on your table, you put it in this direction in the center of the table so that the two points fall off the short, the long side of the table and the other two kind of create a diamond. This one's um, off white. That's the beadwork. Oh, wow, look at the center. Yeah, the center medallion is absolutely beautiful. Look at it, hold on. That's the center. And this is off-white with gray and silver. Those are beautiful. And Mandy, I do, Mandy, do you ever use colorful linens, like bright, bright colors? I know that you like neutrals. I think you like neutrals. Not sure. Um, hold on, Mandy. <laughs> Can you do the um the the two the hot pink pillow shams? Uh, is that what is that what uh, New England girl asking? Yes. Okay, New England girl. I'm glad you're asking. The twenty six inch square. Yeah. There is there are a handful of kind of pick up on it. Okay, so there's this amazing company called John Robshaw. Just so you know, I just want you to see that these are from him. They're John Robshaw. He works with artists. So it's like, there's not, these are not done for export. He actually works with the artisans and develops things for himself. So these are hand painted on one side. This is a steal. I, I'm, I can't believe I'm going to tell the story for 50 bucks, but I'm going to. Look, <laughs> this is hand painted, stripes on one side, gold on silk. The other side is also hand painted with a much more ornate, but beautiful, just very easy, almost like you could see the brush strokes. This is all hand crocheted at the border. They tie in the back with three ties in the center. So it's a French back, an overlapping French back, and it ties. And um, they're absolutely stunning. They're gorgeous, vivid, bright pink. I'm gonna flip this so you can see the colors a little more accurately. That's the colorway. Again, super, super. Oh, you New York to Florida, you're fine. So I don't know why, because I am obsessed with makers and artists and designers and storytelling. My mom was a great storyteller. And I want to place a splash of color in my family room. Leave. Oh, I love that on me. Oh that God. would be gorgeous. Like, absolutely. Because, you know, Diana Vreeland, who we just talked about, said Na pink is the navy blue of India. Um, but, yes, this would be gorgeous on, on them. I mean, it's going to look absolutely spectacular. And you're not going to feel bad if your cat scratches them. I don't know if you have a cat. Because it's we made we made them incredibly well priced. 50, I love that with Navy. Fifty dollars for the pair, um, really beautiful. And like, look up John Robshaw's work. You'll be so impressed. Somebody should get the other ones, or New England girl. You should get them both because once one gets haggard, you can switch. This would also look gorgeous on Navy. Mm. It's like um, kind of a kiwi slash celadonish green. Same detailed hand border. I'll flip this again so you can see the pattern and the color. There we go. So it's a gore, let me look at that. It's all hand painted. Again, it's John Robshaw. Same on both sides, but like incredible handwork. This is actually, now I'm looking, it's block, this is a combination. It's block printed and then hand printed. I mean, in hand filled. It's really beautiful. And then see, those are the ties, three ties across the back of the pillow, French back, um, total steal. I'm glad, I hope, I hope you get one or both. This is like 
They're very special. She did. She got the pink. Good. Congratulations. Congratulations. We love that. She gets good stuff. She does. She has great taste. Um, um, totally random, and we did not put these up, but I'm going to show these to you. So there's this amazing company. These two designers, boyfriends, started in New York. One of them uh, became the design director for Miriam Haskell. They had one of the most beautiful stores in New York City, but rents pushed them out. They ended up <clears throat> leaving New York and opening in Boston. The name of the store is Patch. You can check out their website. It's Patch NYC. This is from one of the first collections they did. <clears throat> and I bought everything, of course, out of the samples. So I bought everything. Um, so these are these beautiful hand done scarves. Each one of these is done one at a time. Don't they though? They do, you're right, there's a, there is a Venice vibe. So cotton on one side, all hand crocheted, little borders, beautiful, odd, unexpected color combinations, an applique of a leaf that's beaded. It's just a little like, a chili scarf is what I always called it. It's like, you get a little chili. Just something a little, just a little, like I'm a little chili. But it's great because it's easy to carry. So you could tuck it in your bag. <clears throat> you know, it's great if you're driving and you just like have the air conditioning on or the windows open and you get a little cold. We did not load these up. There's three different colorways. They're all one of a kind. These are them. The reverses are all beautiful. Right, right. New York to Florida, isn't it? They're so talented, these guys. And you'll see they've done collaborations with Hermes, with Asté de Velate. Look at the stuff they did for Hermes. They are so talented, so, so talented. And real craftspeople, real designers. These are very rare finds. Um, you know, imagine the handwork to crochet around the entire, hold on, I'm gonna flip it so I can show you guys this. So that's the handwork. And then look at the detail on this. That this is all done by hand. Do you see that? And not for nothing, what's interesting about what they did, and this is the company, Patch NYC. These, believe it or not, I'm gonna show you what I mean. You could use these, you know, I always have to like demonstrate. I have to demonstrate. Like you could put this on a, like your dresser. You remember when our mothers all put doilies on the dressers? This is the modern version of that. You could put this, and this is on a table, so it's not gonna look quite the same. But look at how beautiful this is. It's done so well. You could lay this on top of the dresser. You have to press it and get the creases out. But then, you know, and put a little, see, look, actually here, I'm going to create a vignette for you. I'm going to do a vignette. Hold on. Hold, please. I'm making, I'm making magic for you guys. This is, this is you at home after a party. Except, of course, there's pictures in the frames. There has to be pictures in the frames. But can you picture it? See? You could use it. Not only could you wear it. Oh, my God. Yes. I love the Cantalyrica remembers them from the CFDA. Yes, Don, Don, and John. And they're still, you know, doing their thing. But this goes back to the very first collection they did, which was so, so game-changing for their company. And um, they just have done some of the most beautiful things. So if you're interested in those, let us know, and we'll load them up. We will put them out there for you. Um, don't forget, we still have... Did anybody buy the Jackson Pollock scarf? No, I have to add them. I well, oh, we didn't even add them. No. Here, we have, the, we have these. Lou's going to add them. Lou's like, add what? I'm going to throw them to Lou. Lou's going to add those. Um, what else can we show you guys? Is there anything that you guys want to see? What about like men's gifts for Valentine's Day? 
Who said? Did somebody say that? I'm saying it. Lou, Lou is we saying. You have watches, you have the wallets, you have the pens. Lou is saying that you want something for Valentine's Day for your men's. Let's see what we have. Um, I didn't put anything in the card for that, though. Let me look. For men. Hmm. What do we have for men? Oh, well, any of the um, the Sunnies from Carrera are great for guys. You know what we have that's actually really cool? I don't know. I think it's the last one. We did have a bunch of these, too. Hold on. This is good for guys. Oh, we have pens for guys, if you guys are interested in pens. I'm going to show you guys this. I sit down to show you because I have to open a box. Hold, please. Okay. Gosh, there's a whole lot of moving. Did you guys get seasick when I was doing that? All right. So these are Calvin Klein. They are brand new in the box. Hey, J. Kelly. Um, this is so cool because this is like literally so. This is so cool. So it's a great frame. It looks good on everybody. I'll put it on so you can see. I'm not everybody, but everything looks good on me. Um, so they're really good. So it's a great shape, brand new. But look at this. It's got, you're not ready for this. A USB in the arm. This is a great gift for your husband. He'll love it. So he can keep like, if he loses things, like this is also great to travel with. <laughs> Because you can keep copies of your passports, your travel tickets, your itinerary, all that stuff um, in the arm of your glasses. So it's got a USB in the arm of the glasses. Let us know if you're interested. It is a fantastic gift for a guy. It looks good on anybody. Um, could be great for you guys, too. It's a very flattering frame. Doesn't need a whole lot. Um, Lou is doing something over here. Hold on, I have to show you. This is the Pollock scarf. I'm getting it listed. He's listing the Pollock scarf. Um, as he should be, right? He should be listing. So then we have that. What else do we have to show you guys? Did anybody see the uh, fantastic Americana uh, serving set? So fun for the 4th of July, if you're entertaining. Oh, yeah, we showed you guys the Under the Sea stuff. The Under the Sea set that has a set of six pieces, two serving pieces, of course, the little dish and the trivet. Um, you know, I love, I love, love a theme table. I love a theme table. I think it's the, she, it makes everything taste better. So if you're bad at cooking, people will think your food is better if you actually have dressed your table. Um, it's just like when you get dressed up and people think you look better, even though you feel like crap. They're like, you look great. And you're like, I feel like shit. Um, but those are the six pieces. Great detail. Like perfect for, like if you want to serve a shrimp salad and some hummus, again, you put the, you put the lemon here. You have a shrimp salad. What is it? We can do that later. Hi, J. Kelly. She wants to see my shoes. Oh. Okay, so here, I'm going to show you guys this other set. Hold oh, please. It's a, um, it's a cutting board. But I would use it as a serving board. So I would put, like, a couple of cheeses, like some good Wisconsin cheddars, some grapes, or some blueberries, and... You could do a whole, so do white cheddar, blueberries and strawberries, make a salad. And this is your charcuterie board for the summertime. This is so fun if you have a 4th of July party. And then of course we have these serving pieces. So it's a set of five and somebody should totally do it unless you don't entertain at home because you don't let people in your house. Um, other bracelets that are lingering still include these two carved resin beautiful turquoise stack them you could stack these with your batars you could stack these with the leather it's a total storytelling thing um we have the python 
We have this wooden one that's bejeweled, hand carved, and then bejeweled from India. These two we can sell as a set for $50, which is great. Snake set in gold, not real gold, you know. This is also great from the company XX, E X E X. A beautiful, what does it say on there? XX wood cuff with silver and red studs. For $525, now $180. They're a very expensive company if you check them out. Somebody can have this tonight for $50. Um, this is a stone one. Hi, Ricarda. This is a stone one carved. All those wires are set into carved stone. Um, so, so to recap, we have a, a summer charcuterie 4th of July set. We have the fun uh, serving set for a fun, I'm going to call it shrimp luncheon. We have some bangles tucked away. We have gorgeous sterling silver frames. So you can dress your house. Beautiful little trinket boxes to keep coasters and a lighter on your coffee table so you don't look like a haphazard mess. Nobody wants to look messy. Keep it on your nightstand with a sticky pad, a sticky, sticky notes, and a pen. I, that's what I do. Sometimes I, put, I have one in the kitchen, and it's uh, filled with chargers. I can never figure out what the chargers are for, but it's filled with chargers. We still have... Um, these amazing earrings. We have these beautiful Russian paper mache hand painted boxes. You know, there's varying to varying degrees. There's different versions of these. Some are higher quality. Some are like really made for Luba. You probably have seen these before. These are really beautiful ones. Um, we're not going to sell you the water for drinkware because I'm not shipping that. Sorry, guys. There's some great. Oh, if you need a gift for you. The guys, there's some beautiful leather. These? No, the, I think the more ones. Yeah, totally. So, here are the boxes. There are two of them. Oh, there. Now, I'm going to pull them out. I'll put them here. Yeah, it's pretty. I can't. I have to tell her. I have two. I kept one. I do. I love the blue one. It's absolutely beautiful. You know, it's the same. You can see it's all hand done. You can see the you can see the brush strokes. It's paper mache. Um, these are from the Yves Saint Laurent Museum um, in, in Marrakesh. You know, Saint Laurent famously did, every year he did a love postcard. How much is this? Um, you could have these for $60 each. She could have this for 60 bucks each. Those are, I mean, Luba, you know these are really, I know you've seen them. But these are magnificent. It's just the blue one, right? Do you only want to see the blue one? Sixty dollars each on the pillow. Sixty on the pillows. Maraday, he's never been that low on the pillow. Maraday, he's. She's... I'm telling you, that is an insane deal. Yeah, I mean, you know, I bought I bought a bunch of these because. I didn't know what to get people from when I was in Marrakesh. So I then bought them for everybody. Everybody loved them. And then I bought two for myself and I never used them. And because you guys can see how, after visiting us for weeks that I have to make some very, very difficult decisions about getting rid of things. Um, and so I had to decide to let these go. Although the more I look at them, the more I want to keep them. But yes, we will. <laughs> we will upload them for you, Maradi. Yes. If she wants to upload them as a pair, they're so fun. The yeah. They're beautiful. I mean, I'm glad somebody's going to get them and enjoy them. And those are, have the filler. And they have the filler. 
I mean, whoa. I mean, they're so chic. They're so chic. Um, yes, we're going to upload those for you, Mary D, right now. I do want to show you, Mary D, other things that came from that big buy in Marrakesh. Are these are oversized cotton throws. So they're beautiful oversized cotton throws that are striped and then have these glorious giant handmade cotton tassels dangling on the two sides. Um, we have it in pink, we have it in neon, and we have it in orange. So this is, I have a little bit of OCD, so if I unfold something, I have to fold it back up. Sorry. Although you can't tell because everything is like, it looks like the place blew up. Um, what else is here? There's so many things. So many things. Those are um, the boxes in. The boxes. She, uh, she wanted both, I think. Oh, she got it? Yeah, so maybe. Up. I thought it was just the blue one. I can have this. It's really beautiful. Luba, I know you know this, but you know, there's varying, I'm going to say it again, as if you don't know, as if these are new to you. But you know, there's like so many that are, are made. And I have a bunch of beautiful handmade, hand painted um, boxes from Russia. And I kept one of those blue ones. But, you know, there's different qualities, is just what I want to say. And these are a very, very good quality. Uh, sure, Chi Chi. What is Project Eighty Eight? Oh, she said she just wants the blue. Sorry, I was lying. Um, the pillows. pillows are in Maradi. Then you need to know Project Eighty Eight. I haven't. I I actually didn't go to Russia. It's kind of a weird thing. One of my best friend's boyfriends lived in Russia, and so he's an interior designer. He um actually lives in Kazakhstan, but he's from Russia, and so when he would go. I would, uh, there is, there's a cute one. I would ask him to pick things up for me. And so he would FaceTime me from there and we would go through things and I would buy things and it's crazy, but that's what I did. The Cavalli scarf is 88. The Cavalli scarf. What's the Cavalli scarf? Cavalli. Oh. And our man, we have the best coin bag. Yeah, there's a really good one. Hold on. The Cavalli, I saw it. It was, where was it? And then I'll, I'll find the coin back for Andy. Kabali. There's such a cute coin purse. This is not. Where's it. the phone? Oh, there it Here is. Here it is. Here it is. So that's for Chi Chi. Chi Chi, it's great. It's not silk. I think it's rayon. Um, hold on, Lou. And I think we do have product 66. I just have to make it shoppable in your phone. What is it? Got missed. These. Mandy, I think we do have 66 still. I can figure that out, this. I just need to do it on your phone. Um, oh, yeah. And then Chi Chi, this scarf is insane. At this price point, you need Chi. It's huge. It's beautiful. And it, did you see what it is, Chi Chi? It's like this gorgeous, this is a terrible angle, but it's like this sort of like almost Damien Hurst looking like butterfly scene. Where is the little coin purse? Um, the little tiny. It's there. Where? I saw it. I know, we definitely have this it. This is, um, it's 100% silk. Now here's the thing. Um, I just your phone. You're going to love this. So I got it sample sale, Chi Chi. But look, the same, the tag says home because the same company that makes, it's a 100% silk scarf, but the same company that does it does the home design stuff. So I think they put the tag on it. But so it's, a, it's an oversized shawl. So $99, guys. This one is like thieving. Chi Chi, if you're not going to take that one, I think Sophie wants it. I think Sophie might want that one. Mandy, look at this. You asked on the right night. This is like the most beautiful coin purse ever. It is. It's a little trinket from France in the 1930s. It's in perfect condition. Not used. Silk lined. 
It's so pretty. You asked on the right night. This yeah. one. Get this one. If you want a coin purse, it could. It doesn't get better. Can I see your phone? Yeah. Star? I don't know where the heck my phone is. Guys, who's getting yeah, the Cavalli? Yeah. Isn't that it? No, that's mine. Hmm. Hold on, please. We're wandering. Hi, Marianne. How are you? Hi, Yumna. How much is the coin purse? $49.99, Star. And Mandy, I'm going to make those um, napkin shoppable for you. Because they are. That was just on my 66 We Can Make Shoppable. That was a mistake when we were just like loading everything up. Those are actually available. Um, star. The coin purse is, I believe it's $49.99. If you can believe that. It's such a little treasure, right? Hi, Candy Crush. Oh, did you find it? Yeah. I don't know how to do it. I'll do it. I can do it. Lou's going to do it. Hey, SSS. Star Carrington said, okay, let me think about it. Um, yeah, the coin purse is special because, you know, a lot of times with pieces like that, they go, they're all over the, the place based on a couple of things, including condition and quality. And the quality is extraordinary in this, and the condition is perfect. It's really a fantastic, fantastic piece. Did we show you guys the diamond hoop earrings? Did we show them those? I don't know. The black diamond ones? The black diamond ones. They're amazing. Yeah, Star, think it over. Mandy, I just made that listing shoppable. 66 is now shoppable for you. So certainly check that out. I think that maybe you could also do like a little tour of some of your nicer jewelry. Now that a lot of the girls are showing up. Robbie. Um, sure. We have, you know, what we have are some of the pieces that we did especially for them. Oh, right. Guys, we are going to show you some fine tonight. I just feel like maybe it's the mood. Hi, Gigi. Hi, Jen Hart. Mandy, I made that shoppable. I'm also going to try and find the number for the coin purse if you're interested. Um, let's see. That is 54, guys. I'm going to feature it. I went ahead and featured it. The coin purse is product number 54. 54. Did anybody get the uh, the giant red banana republic tote? It's really good. It's a great bag to keep in the car if you like moving groceries and things. You might need two people if you have heavy things in there. One takes each handle. Nonetheless, it is a great bag. Um, okay, something else. What was it that we were... I was thinking that we show a little bit of fine in the case. What do you think? Yeah, let's actually... Here, I have stuff here. Hi, Kitty Elisa. Hi, Fizzle. Here, I have three great... Guys, these are like flash deals, okay? This is a flash deal on the 50-50. Robbie's going to walk you through these pieces because he's the jewelry expert to the max. Hi, Anna Mart. How are you? Hi, Miss Swamdahl. Get in there. Tell us all the things. Okay, so these are, this is black rhodium plated sterling silver. The chain is sterling. The body of this pendant is sterling and... Those are diamond slices. I'm gonna turn it around so you can see it a little better. Um, there we go. This is what it sparkles like. It's viciously gorgeous. Um, it's a beautiful pendant. Hangs 20 inches, I think. So great on a bare chest, great tucked away and like with a peekaboo sparkle. Um, hold please, we have another one I'm gonna show you. That's a pair of dough. We're gonna show you this one also. Sterling silver with beautiful bright green peridots and then of course diamonds, she sparkles. But the body is sterling silver. The chain is actually gold filled so it gives you a lot of look. This is a lot of look. And we can do these tonight. Yes, like a pair. Exactly. I mean, she got her pear shaped earrings. Oh, yeah. Did you love them? Um, I didn't see that first thing. Yeah, that's hysterical. Um, this is great. We can do this for $595. $595. $595. Guys, look at that. Can you put it on? Yeah. 
my god, I would love to. This will look so good on Lou. Twist my arm. Right? Hold on, you're gonna have to open the clasp. Um, oops. Okay. All right, guys. It's on this side. Oh, model on that side. So that's it. It's a great pendant. It's a lot of looks. See how it looks. And then Luba, you wanted to see his boots. Oh, they're here. It's winter in New York, you know. I, I don't know. This is like falling around. <laughs> um. So that's a that's a fantastic piece. What did you say? Five ninety five. Five ninety five. That's ridiculous, you guys. Emerald diamonds, like hello. Now this is gonna look with his outfit, with Princess's outfit. This is gonna look absolutely. Yeah, they're great. She said she loves your boots. Okay. This is gonna look great. Tuck the gold one in so that we hide that for a moment. Then that's the. Oh yes. That's, I like layering stuff. Yeah. I feel like this is a great length because then I could hold on. Let me see. If I was to like, pull out my chain. Yeah. So it falls like right below it. Yeah. Maybe I, that's not helpful. I no no no. I think that's the way that's the cool vibe. That's how you do it. That's like a really awesome way to show how you stop you that's self styled. I mean, they're really beautiful. And we can do this also tonight for five ninety five. This that is crazy. Yeah. Five nine five. Five nine five. I mean it's I'm shook. That's I wish I could find the... Uh, I'm shooketh. Where on earth? Didn't we just have... The did, ruby one? No. The, oh, yeah, there's a ruby one. <gasps> now, the ruby one's a little bit more. Hold on. I'll tuck. Tuck. Okay, guys, this is the, like... Hold, please. I gotta, I gotta see. I gotta see it. You know what these clasps are like with these giant mitts of mine. Look how pretty. I mean, this is. I don't think you guys are seeing like how sparkly and beautiful she is. She's a big old ruby on rock crystal, sterling silver, rhodium plated. It's a really special piece. I actually think, you know what that would look good with? Pull that other long one out. I think that now that we're playing Style Maven. This one? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, Not that I can really see. Uh, are you talking about New England Girl? Are you talking about this one? It is. I can't believe the price. That range. that is the best price. These it's it's like these diamond slices are like it's a steal. I think holes holes not even wholesale. I think the cost to make this would be eighteen hundred to two thousand. Five nine five is like the slicing is very. I feel I always think of Lorraine Schwartz because she has those like paint yeah, she used paint to do that. window diamonds. Yeah, that's what she used to do. She used to do uh, portrait, portrait diamonds. It's really. It, I mean, if you're looking to get something really special that no one is going to have, this is a great option. You know, the other thing, um, it is, right? Designerly. The thing is also with these, I I know that it's always, it's easier. You know, we're not in a studio with studio lighting. We're in, in, in an office. And so it's hard for me to really Here. show you. Yeah. That's not really helping. That kind of kills it. Um, it, it. I mean, it's just a bright, it looks like a flashlight. I know what to do. Hold on. I do want to get a light on it for obvious reasons. I'm going to do this. Hold, please. Yeah, no, no, I'm seeing it now. Your birthday is soon. I mean, just like wardrobing wise, I feel like if, I was to choose something like this one, I feel like would style into so much that I had. And I feel like a lot of people, oh yeah, wow, look at that. It's pretty outrageous. Wait. I mean, you really want to see it sparkle. 
it really catches the light. Yeah, it's really amazing. I don't even know if that's... You're going to take that one. New England girl, do you want to, I'm going to put a photo of me wearing it because I'm going to be sad to see it go, but happy it's going to a good home. She said, I'd like it, please. And she's so sweet, this one. My, you know what? I know, okay, her sweater wardrobe. Let's just discuss. Um, <laughs> oh, are you going to wear sweater. this with your Amiri sweater? I got her this like huge cashmere Amiri sweater. What color? Um, it's like dip dyed, all different, beautiful, rusted colors. Oh. And you're going to wear this with it. Okay. Yeah, I love she it. said, yes, I am. Okay, <laughs> you have to send hysterical. pictures. You want to flip it on you so I can upload this for her? Sure. Congratulations. It's a fabulous piece. It's and, a, and like a mega steal. We've never, ever, ever, ever had it at that price. We had two of them. I don't know where the other one is. Doesn't matter. Maybe I kept it. It might be home in my safe. Well, no um, one would be surprised. Nobody would be surprised. I know. Sometimes, you know, it's like one for somebody else, one for me. Um, that's the way I play. I thought we had, I can't wear hoops because they don't have pierced earrings. I wish I could show them the hoops, but I don't know why. I they can are. wear it. You can? Yeah. Who wants to put the heat? The... Oh, you are so welcome, New England girl. You get such great stuff. I'm super, super happy to work with you and um, help you procure some fabulousness. Um, where the hootie ha? Did those hoops go? I don't want to make, I want to make sure I didn't lose them because somebody should have them. Oh. Mm. Here we go. All right, let me just get this. Yeah, no, this is, guys, this is the sort of reason. Like, of course, all the special home things, everything, but like this kind of moment, this is like the beauty of the app, right? Like when, like you could never like walk past, um, robert's place and stop in and buy yourself this because it's like how would you know how to do that do you know what i mean um it's so nice that we get to connect with you guys you get to connect with him all of the above i'm gonna access these things right at 595 insane hi cherry that's the best 595 dollars she's gonna spend in her life it's it's thieving. It's so good. Um, don't be confused by the the listing, <laughs> New England girl. I wrote happy birthday, New England girl. Happy birthday. Enjoy it. Okay. Yeah, it's absolutely one of a kind, and you'll know that you got it from this icon, this legend. She is the business. She drips flavor and sauce. Have you guys ever heard that? Have you ever watched that of TikTok? Course. He's from. He was. On, you drip uh... flavor. I can't say it in any sort of convincing way, but like, whatever. I know everyone's going to ask you where to get one. And you're going to be like, you're going to have to go to Bergdorf's. Yeah. You know what I mean? You're going to have to go to Bergdorf's. Hi designer. How are you? Welcome. Um, what are you looking for? I'm looking the for hoops? the hoops. Oh, I'll try them on, but you just don't let me forget to take my earring because every time I do a live with these gals and there's an earring involved, I have to buy a new pair of earrings, but these are not, these are just like, you know, every day or something, but um, I'm always having to go like hunt down a new earring. Happy birthday, New England girl is sold out. <laughs> Congratulations. I love writing you guys those little notes. It's cute. Um, feel free to ask questions, guys. We are at Robert Birdie's. This is an exclusive look into the mind of one of fashion's elite sweetie. Okay, get in there, scope her things. Hi, Tish. We're only on for 10 more minutes. I know, guys. We have about 10 minutes left. Well, I have you. I'm going to be doing um, Todd's tomorrow. And the POV with Todd's for tomorrow is buy your man's the Todd's loaf. It is the shoe of gentlemen, guys. And they're going to be at an incredible, incredible discount. I'm going to be there. I think we're going to start at 10 a.m. Oh, they want to see the hoops. I'm looking for them. Designer out. Designerly wants to see the hoops. Designerly. They're so beautiful. They're epic. They're black diamonds. They look. I call them Jennifer Lopez. I think they're hoops. two and a half inch. Yeah, they're two and a half inch round, and uh, it's like re literally being like Lucy and Ethel right now. Like, where did the diamond earrings go? Um, they're so. It was easy. meant to be gone. Oh, he is New York to Florida. Okay, get his sizing info together for tomorrow morning because I hear the sale is going to be like on. It's so funny. I actually always buy my dad and brother Todd's too. Here they are. 
Um, it's absolutely like the perfect, the perfect man gift. Do you know what I mean? Um, excuse me, designer Ali, do you see this black diamond hoop? They're so big. They're giant. I don't feel like they're too giant. Though. No, they're great. They're two and a half. Let me see. It's the Jennifer Lopez on. They're so major. Should I put it, them on? Yeah, if you can get them off. Designer Lee, do you need to see them on or is this holding up working for you? They're so good. Black diamond hoops. What are, are they set in sterling? Yep. Yeah. How much are these, Robert? Same. We could do $5.95. $5.95. Price matching on the necklace. If that's insane. Like, where are you going to get this at $5.95? Eric, give me one. Oh, yeah. I want you guys to see the sparkle. There. Design early. Are you taking these in the la in the fifth hour? They're so fabulous. At this point, I mean, you know what it is too. They're absolutely OTT without being OTT. I'm gonna put. They're like over the top, but in the coolest, quietest, chicest, most fabulous way. They basically are like. I mean, it's everything you want because it's a classic silhouette for an earring. It's a, an oversized hoop, but it's then absolutely wildly covered in diamonds. It's not with this pristine kind of like elite jewelry has perfection. It's just done by a very skilled jeweler. They're rhodium plated, so you get that really kind of almost sophisticated. It's like somewhere between like, you know, Emily in Paris and Goth. <laughs> okay, I have it in. Oh, he has what it in. What do you think? Guys, check this out. They're so great. Yeah. I mean, also just think if they're also like all the way through. Yeah, it's it's the whole thing. So it says it's like the entire thing is pave, which is a good point because sometimes just the face is pave or the face in the interior, oops, the face or the face in the interior just around or just the sides. Um, would it go with the, the diamond necklace? Of course. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Um, and also just keep in mind, like the way these are set, it's like, it makes it possible for you to wear a hoop this size that's covered in diamonds. Right. Um, there is one more of those pendants available. I don't know if you're interested in that. Um, right. Marilyn. I always. Who's in Marilyn? Marilyn is New England girl. That's her name? Yeah, but it's I like, know. I got used to New England girl. But I should use your real name by now. Same with New York to Florida. I know her name. But like, you know. Yeah, no, this absolutely is like a match, like right oh, on wait, the money. we have two other pairs we've never shown. Earring? Yeah. Guys, there's some, she's hiding things. I told you what she does. I told you what she does. What do you have? It's a pair of... Pearl. I mean, maybe we show them. Okay, so it's a pair of pearl and diamond. I'm gonna, I'm gonna flip it. I'm gonna flip it. Yeah, we never have seen that. That does match the necklace. That's like actually the match. Wow. So, so it's a it's a sea pearl. And then, of course, so it's a kishi pearl. I mean, that's pretty chic, right? These are not clip-on, though. These are Pierce. I feel like you could have them converted, right? What does that look like, jeweler? You could have it converted. The problem is they're rhodium plated, so it's a process. There's also, let me show you this other one. This is a peridot and gray kishi pearl. Your says, I think Robert has a good jeweler. I do. He does. I mean, could you get them switched? I have a great jeweler. Yeah, I mean, it's not an easy, like like a loose stone, a conversion when it's gold. It The, the complicated thing, New England girl, Marilyn, is just, um, 
it's the, 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 the fact that it's rhodium plated. So you can't actually solder. I, I could look into it for you, though. I've worked on a bench. That's how I know this. So these are also great. I mean, like, look, even when they're walking in the room. Hello. Oh, hi. Hi, how are you? I'm good, thanks. How are you? You're fired. These are the kind of earrings you wear when you fire somebody. <laughs> That's exactly. Guys, we have just a couple minutes. We are almost wrapped up with you guys, unfortunately. We have just a couple minutes, guys. Does anyone have any final questions? Like I mentioned, I'm going to have to take this off. But um, tomorrow I'll be at Todd's. Like first thing, 10 a.m. I suggest everyone come. Um, his and hers. But I think that they're great gifts for our guys around Valentine's Day. So get his sizing together, whether it's for your your sons, your brothers, your your husbands, your boyfriends, your lovers, whomever. Your God knows. It's definitely like a great gift for the guys. I get them for my brother and my dad all the time. It's like a great default gift. Desperate housewives for the God. <laughs> exactly. And that too. The God. Robbie will be in the live tomorrow. I'm going to not be in the live You know, if I take these glasses off, I look really old. Um, scuba for me size seven. It's seven men's. Oh, I bet you that's a great outlet size. Oh yeah, no, we can definitely make that happen. Um, my mom used to say to me when I say, "I think I look older when I take off my glasses." She said, "Yeah, you look older with them on too." <laughs> um, she was funny. You guys, Todd's tomorrow, Margella. On Friday, after like the most prolific couture collection, in my opinion, in the past 10 years. I mean, that was We incredible. had to. Everybody's been talking about this in New York in the fashion scene. So we have to do a little edit over at Margiela. That's going to be on Friday. Saturday, I'm doing Givenchy Thank and Lanvin accessories. I know it doesn't have the best stuff. It's the best stuff. It's the best stuff, but he's so cute. I wish that we could actually, I mean, maybe I'll try and lay it out and display it and walk you guys around instead of having it piled up. I don't know if I have the time to do it. I mean, I can, whatever. Well, we'll be I'm back just, next week. We'll be back. We'll, we'll be, be back. back. <laughs> we'll be back. Um, and then Sunday will be at Century 21. Ooh. His, does he wear it? I wear them a little bit closer. What? What? Do you wear what? She's talking about the tongues. Um, we'll look for the seven tomorrow and get an edit together for you. I think the sale is supposed to be crazy. It's supposed to be like really, really amazing. I thank you so much for tuning in. Robbie, thanks for having us. Glad you guys were here. With I'll us. see you all in the morning. Congrats on your treasures and your finds. Make sure to follow here on the app. And, you know, we'll be coming back soon. Bye, guys. Bye.